we're going to look at using the tape in profile modules. This video we're going to cover the tape features, using the tape with no description, and using the tape with descriptions. First we're going to cover the tape features. Let's go to profile and have a look at the tape. Let's look first how we access the tape. So I can go to align and right click and attach tape. So I'm in a T2 right now, schedule one, just to demonstrate anywhere there's a numerical field, you'll have the tape. Uh, let me go now to a 22 return, just to show here if there's the city of Mississauga, that's not a numerical field. So there's no attached tape. I could put a memo there, but no tape. So let's go down and look here. Let's say I want to, I have some advertising bills and I want to attach tape here. I've got it with no description. I can see here, I can add, I could do any arithmetic um, calculation. I can add, subtract, multiply, divide. Uh, if I want the number posted to the line, I can click post. You can click decimal places, uh, although it will round to two. Let me just show this quickly. So I've got uh, some numbers here and it's the four decimal places. But if I go and post that to the line, it'll round it to two. Uh, most fields on a, a tax return are to two decimal places. So there's that option. And then I can see that there's a, if I highlight over it, there's a green line and it shows that there's a tape there and it gives me a, a look at what the tape is. I can go back to the tape and that's pretty much what it, what it can do. I can add, subtract, multiply, divide. That's basically it. Uh, let's stop there and I'll go back to the slides. Let's go back to profile and look at using the tape with no description a little further. Spoiler alert here to equal total something do not use the okay and do not use the enter key to get a total for any calculations you need to hit the equal key on the keyboard and not anything in the actual tape equal on the keyboard let's go have a look i'm going to add a tape here i'm going to put fifty dollars plus a hundred dollars I'll hit the enter key. And what it shows me here is the last amount. If you got things here and it's not actually calculating the way you want, I would just clear it. I'll do $50 plus $100. Don't hit enter. Hit the equal sign uh, under the plus sign uh, to the right of the numbers. And if I do that, you get the proper amount. If I do plus, 50. If you hit OK, it's the same thing. It'll just show 50. But if I hit equal, it'll show 200. So I think what a lot of people do is they're using the enter key or hitting OK. I hit OK. I'll add 50. It doesn't matter, but I'll make it 50. And if I hit enter, it just shows the $50. You have to know how to use uh, the tape function, and it can be confusing. Like I say, if you things aren't working out here, I would just clear it and start over. So I'll do 50 plus 100 plus 50. Don't press OK. Don't use Enter. Use the equal key, and I'm going to get 200. Last thing we'll cover is using the tape with descriptions. So far, we haven't been using descriptions. We've just been using it like an adding machine. Let's go back to profile and see where it might be helpful to use descriptions. I'm back on a 776 and uh, showed earlier this example here where if I just need to add numbers, I don't need the description. The description just makes it more confusing uh, to try and add numbers. But where it comes in handy is something like utilities. And what I can do is 
the hydro, uh, you have to tab over to the number field. Okay, so I've added some descriptions and then entered some numbers. As we did before, if I want the total, do not hit OK. Uh, do not hit Enter. Hit the equal sign on the keyboard. And then I have the total, I have the green highlight, and it's very handy. I can go over there and see that there was the hydro. I can see exactly where the totals came from. We can also notice here there's a carry forward description if I'm using it, the description feature. So let's see what that does here. So I'll click OK, and then click OK here, and then let's carry this forward. And I can go to this T776, and I can see it carried forward the descriptions, which makes it great. Um, so the next year, all I can do is click on this, click on the next one, click on the next one, hit equal on the keyboard, and I'm done that entry for the year. So that comes in very handy. If you're going to have entries every year, and you want a description, you can use the carry forward feature. That's the use of the description, or where the description is handy. And that's uh, just a quick demonstration of the tape features. I hope this was helpful. If you want more support options, you can go to our website. It's profile.intuit.ca.